a lot of people keep looking to buy 4k hdr smart tvs on budget right maybe around 30 35000 rupees you people came to the right video today we have a very interesting tv in the house from samsung this is their all new 2023 model crystal uhd smart tv series and it's available in like so many sizes and packs like quite interesting features guys so i'm like pretty excited to unbox and talk about it first of all pricing starts at only around like 32000 rupees and right now you're also having like a limited time period offer where you're getting a free full hd slim fit camera free with this tv and if you talk about the main highlights well you're getting like native 4k resolution hdr 10 plus support is there so many smart features are built into it you're also getting like live channels with uh, samsung tv plus and plenty of other stuff so without wasting any more time let's get started with the unboxing part now there is nothing much to unbox over here packaging is very simple as you can see in the video just says crystal uhd on the front and mentions the size of the tv it's available in multiple sizes today in the house we have the 43 inch variant so i'll directly get to the point i'll quickly unbox it and show you the contents in the box so as soon as you open it we've got some accessories at the top which includes a mains cord for the tv two triple a batteries for the remote and also an l-shaped rf adapter is also there and not to miss out this is your tv remote small compact and pretty unique design and lastly in the package you get these two stands for the tv and there you go boys our very first look at samsung's all new 2023 model crystal uhd cv60 43 inch 4k uhd tv oh wow looks pretty nice right i mean look at the whole new design you're getting like a full bezel less experience on the front so what i'll do is i'll quickly set it up use it for a couple of days and then be right back to continue the video and boys, I'm back to continue the video. Our TV is set up and I've been using this TV for the last couple of days. So now today in this video, I'll be sharing my complete experience and feedback on this model. First of all, let's talk about the design and the build quality part. Samsung's Crystal UHD 2023 model has a very beautiful look and feel, guys. I mean, come on, initial impressions, as soon as you look at the front part of the TV, right? It has a three-sided bezel-less design and looks quite beautiful and premium for this price point. On the bottom, you do have a bit of slight chin with the Samsung logo at the center and below that only you have a power button as well talking about the stands stands also look pretty decent they're made of polycarbonate material but has a nice matte sort of finish and are also like very easy to install as i've shown you during the unboxing part if you talk about the profile it definitely has like a slim profile though not the slimmest tv i would say but decent for this price point and having a look at the rear profile of the tv there you go boys here's how the tv looks from the back side the entire body of the tv is made of polycarbonate material and has a nice texture sort of pattern on it though i do have to mention despite of that build quality of this tv is like very good and i didn't face any sort of loose fittings or loose frames anywhere guys solid and durable build quality is what i can say now let me just give you a closer look at the connectivity ports and talk about that also and one more thing the tv does support wall mounting option as well and even if you wall mount also all the connectivity ports are present to the side of the tv right so they're like quite easily accessible even if you wall mount them Having a closer look at the connectivity ports, plenty of options are there, starting off with your main squad port at the top, followed by you have a USB port as well below that, optical out is also there, 3 HDMI ports are available, out of which the third one supports EARC, and lastly you have an antenna port, and lastly Ethernet port is also there. Alright then, let's jump into the home screen and talk about the software, UI and also built-in apps and features. But wait a second, before that I haven't shown you the remote control, right? So this is how Samsung Crystal UHD TV's remote looks like. Very decent design, compact form factor and minimalistic sort of look and feel guys. Definitely looks quite nice and is also like quite ergonomic. You have plenty of buttons and options like quick access shortcuts for Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hotstar, all of these are available including Samsung TV Plus. And I kind of like this volume control and channel up and down button you know instead of your regular buttons these have like a very different design you need to either like push or pull up and down to adjust this volume or you know change channel anyways coming back to the software part this is how the tv's home screen looks like i've told you right this particular tv is powered by samsung's tizen smart os and has so many smart features on board guys i'll be coming there in a moment to the left you have like the tabs and category section where you can easily go to the search panel check out your connected media options and below that you have the connected devices settings from this is where you can actually access all those smart things features camera experience i'll be coming and talking about samsung slim fit camera accessory also and lastly the settings so at the top you have all your applications that come installed on this tv even though it's powered by tizen you are having everything that you're looking for on this tv youtube is there netflix is there all your ott apps like disney plus hotstar amazon prime video everything is built in apart from that you're also getting geo cinema internet is also built in along with a 
a gallery function guys so it's like basically all in one hub and samsung is calling it as smart hub experience now going down you can check out all your day to day content you know this keeps on changing as per your usage and your interest basically and if you can observe one thing guys performance of the tv is also like very good the overall ui navigation transition between apps opening and closing everything feels quite smooth and fluidic experience is what i can say so let me just quickly head over to the connected devices and basically talk about all the smart things and smart features you'll find on this tv so first of all you're getting your smart things integration as well so smart things is like an all in one hub and solution from where you can directly control all your samsung gadgets and electronics for example on the home screen as you can see i've got a couple of samsung devices at my home right like my refrigerator washing machine ac is also there i can control all of these devices from the tv only like very convenient i would say and apart from that you're also getting this camera option guys so once you connect that camera to the tv you can use it for like video calling purpose google duo or maybe like snap pictures and save it in your camera plenty of functions and features guys pretty nice i would say but one very interesting feature i found is as an alternative you can use your mobile phone's camera as a replacement to that slim fit camera guys you simply need to connect it to a smart things app on your phone and that is pretty much it just simply pair with your tv and now you can use a phone's camera on this tv and you know do your video callings meetings conferences and stuff like that and apart from that the tv also has like smart iot sensors as well built in it supports light sensor and camera sensor so basically the tv can sense like light changes in your surroundings environment and it can automatically switch on your smart lights in in that room guys like how cool is that that option is also possible and coming to the camera sensor if you have that slim fit camera connected to the tv right it can actually detect intrusions of people maybe you're not at your home and somebody comes into your room somebody sneaks into your room right tv can detect that movement and give you alerts on your phone so you can monitor the movements in that room using that accessory camera one more interesting feature i found is it comes equipped with samsung tv plus which basically offers you like free live channels on this tv nothing connected to the tv as of now and simply enter this tv plus and you can access up to like 55 free live channels guys different category sections are there like news channels are there movie channels entertainment so you can basically watch all of these like for free but again these are something you know streamed from your internet so definitely you'll need to have like wifi and all of that so coming to wifi the tv does support dual band wifi it supports 2.4g and 5 gigahertz network let me just quickly head over to the settings and show you what sort of features and settings are available on this model these picture and sound settings are very easily accessible using your remote control only dedicated shortcut button is there and you have a couple of picture modes to choose from like standard dynamic echo mode and a special filmmaker mode is also there which when selected will display content or whatever movie that you're watching the way it was meant to be by the director so yes that option is also there and going to the expert settings plenty of options are available you can adjust the brightness contrast color tint and picture clarity settings basically is like your motion compensation settings it adds like art artificial frames in between and makes your content very smooth like you know soap opera kind of effect and similarly in the sound settings also you have like a couple of sound modes available like your standard adaptive sound is there amplify mode is also there that boosts your overall volume and makes the dialogues much more audible coming to the expert settings here you can adjust all your hdmi erc mode like you can set it to auto and you know stuff like that in the network settings you can access your dual band wifi settings and basically like your software update apple airplay settings wireless casting everything can be uh, toggled from over here Moving on, let's talk about the picture quality. What I'll do is I'll quickly load up YouTube on the TV, play some video demos and show them to you. Then we'll get back and talk about the picture and sound quality part. Now, if you'd ask me, 
picture quality of this TV is like pretty good. Now, first of all, before I say anything, keep in mind that it's like a very affordable budget category TV from Samsung. Costs only around like 32,000 rupees, guys. So don't expect like Neo QLED level of performance. Nay, but for this price point, it was doing a very good job. There's good amount of detail, no matter what sort of content you're watching, either it be YouTube videos or even like web series or movies on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video. You'll have like a good time watching content on this TV. Coming to colors, colors are also pretty good. It supports Samsung's pure color technology and is capable of producing up to 1 billion colors. On top of that, it is equipped with their crystal processor 4K, right? That supports 16 bit 3D color mapping as well. So, overall, color volume, color saturation, everything were like on point, guys. And I didn't see any sort of color banding also, considering the price point of this TV. So, I was like pretty happy and satisfied. Contrast levels are also nice, decent amount of black levels as well. And if you talk about the HDR performance, TV does support HDR 10 plus, and you can watch content movies or web series in HDR on OTT apps like Netflix or Prime Video and basically I'm telling you right for this price point you'll have like so much of fun watching content on this TV. Only thing I felt is viewing angles of the TV were a bit limited especially if you're viewing the panel from extreme angles colors looked a bit washed out and also I wish the brightness of the panel could have been slightly higher. Also keep in mind there is no Dolby support over here. If you ask about the gaming performance TV has a special game mode also which automatically turns on when you connect a console. It supports auto low latency mode and reduces the input lag plus you're also getting motion accelerator which is nothing but your motion compensation that makes your gameplay feel much more smoother while playing so gaming performance is also decent. Anyways, moving on and talking about the audio quality part. So this particular TV has like stereo down firing speakers that can produce around 20 watts. But the special thing is it supports OTS light. So Samsung's OTS stands for object tracking sound and it basically creates like virtual speakers at the top. So totally you're expecting around like four speakers over here. So all of these combine with Samsung's AI algorithm and you'll get like a 3D virtual surround sound effect over here. And let me tell you audio quality on this TV was like quite impressive for this price point. Like like see, if you're using this TV in your bedroom or maybe like a mid-size room, right? The audio output or the audio clarity that you'll get is like pretty decent and sufficient, I would say. There's good amount of detail. All the dialogues were like clearly audible. But still, if you're looking for like pro level sound, you can go for something like, you know, Samsung's own sound bars. And one more thing is TV also supports Samsung's Q Symphony technology as well. So if you're using their sound bar together with the TV, right? And enable Q Symphony feature, then the TV speakers will automatically Sync with the soundbar and you'll get like added extra experience guys like both of them work together in harmony and give you that premium pro level sound quality i would say well, that's it, our complete review on Samsung's 2023 model 43 inch Crystal UHD 4K TV. Really good TV for the price, you're getting a beautiful bezel less look, great picture quality loaded with smart features and all of that for only 31,999 rupees. Plus, don't forget you're also getting a free slim fit camera as well with the TV. Only thing I was missing over here is the remote doesn't have a microphone, hence no voice control support. So that's it. What do you people think about this model? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it. I hope you all got to know everything about the product. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.